Welcome to another episode in the 23 collection of stories. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Today we have two Michael Jordan revenge stories. Many of you may know about the LeBradford Smith story, but you've never heard it quite like this. We have NBA legends talking about LeBradford Smith, and we have LeBradford Smith himself in this story, telling us what happened on the day that he torched MJ, and then MJ got his revenge. And we also have another story about the day that Michael Jordan got his revenge on Reggie Theus for saying that a rookie could never guard him. These stories are insane, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Before we get started, if you are enjoying the stories, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode. There is a playlist on the top right of your screen and in the description box down below, which has all the stories that we've done so far. And also, full credit to all the videos linked on the screen right now, and the full credits are in the description as well. I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I have a pretty cool Michael story, actually. Uh, one of our one of the coaches at the U of A actually played with Michael. Current Arkansas basketball assistant coach Corey Williams was a rookie in 1993. Many people, the catalogs are out. Yeah, Pippen, all great ball movement on the break to Corey Williams. His name's Coach Corey Williams. Coach Williams, cool dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me. Yeah, about CJ's him. dad. Yep, yep. Uh, cool dude, real cool dude. He was uh, telling us a story about uh, LeBrett for Smith. Used to play with the uh, Bullets. Do you know the LeBradford Smith story? Has anybody told you that? This was back in 93. At one guard. The Bullets were terrible. The Bradford Smith was their draft pick. But this is what I always say. You never know. It could be your night. You never know. He had 38 points on MJ. This dude goes off for like 40 on Mike. This night is the Bradford Smith's night. Bradford Smith left wing drains it. Bradford Smith came off the screen from 16. Wow. Baseline. Smith has hit everything else from there. But Michael liked to have a fun with that story that you guys played against, right? I mean, yeah. He wasn't having fun that first that first night. He was a little ticked off. Mm. Giving him buckets. Yeah. Talking talking to Mike going. Come here, Mike. Going, yeah. yeah, nuts. Yeah. Anyway. The Bradford Smith had a game. I mean, he had a game of games. Inside Jordan posted up against Smith. And for whatever reason, Michael couldn't make a basket. Smith in the lane, couldn't get it. The Bradford Smith. Michael hits him on the body, and he nails it. Smith, he has really got that touch going. No, we're not talking about that guy. We're talking about the Bradford Smith. In Chicago, the Bradford Smith scores 37 points against Michael Jordan. MJ didn't talk to anybody walking off the court and everybody was saying oh this is the next MJ and he had scored those made the points yeah. on MJ he said that LeBradford Smith walking out of the gym had said nice game Mike and you knew that this wasn't going to go down well the next night they play in Washington we played him on a back-to-back -back. I never get it so we're flying to Washington mm. and we had to play him the next night Michael he gets off the bus he was like he went straight to the gym like Probably slept in the facility. Mike been here since about four. He wow. told us. He told the team he was like, I'm gonna have what he had in the first half. And I normally come out early, shoot around. And uh, Rodney McCray and BJ Armstrong was like, hey, LA, uh, I hope you got your rest last night. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, man? He said, tomorrow in the first half, I'm gonna have what this kid had in the game. The next game we played them in their arena. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think I remember you telling me about this story. And he got 40 in the first half. <laughs> MJ had 40 at halftime. <laughs> 40. <clears throat> I never seen a man go after another player the way he did. Jordan scores 36 in the first half. He's concentrating almost solely on the Bradford. He took such umbrage at a guy saying, nice game, Mike, that he torched and humiliated him in front of 20,000 people. It's 10 to go on the shot clock. Jordan down low. Regarding LeBrad Jordan, one of the two game series. Jordan picked up by Jones. Three. Jordan for three. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, the back door. Yeah. Michael Jordan lets fly for the out. Finds Jordan. 
Yeah. It reflected when he was shooting free throws. Tough shot, good rebound as you got a 35 year older Right Ch back to MJ Holder. Slip <laughs> away. Michael for three. Oh, of Bradford Smith. Michael takes it on the turnaround. Oh. Fast forward to decades past the incident. And there's a rumor that this never happened. LeBradford Smith never put his arm around Mike and said, nice game, Mike. A couple of writers went up to Michael and said, did this ever happen? And Michael, with a smile, just like, no, I made it up. There's nothing he would not do to get himself to the place where he's going to beat you. I think he finished oh, man. Like, <laughs> I think he finished with like 53. I'm going to have what he had in the first half. He told us, uh, yeah, I'll take the night off. Just give me the ball. Wow. And uh, I was like, damn, all right, let's lace them up. <laughs> damn, to just know that is stupid. And you never heard of LeBrad for Smith again. <laughs> never. And I'm from D.C. <laughs> I don't remember LeBrad for yeah. Smith. That's funny. So he, he gave Coach Williams a nickname. He called him Pee Wee. 1993 ended with the Bulls' third straight title. And, as promised, a championship ring for Williams. He looks at me, he said, Pee Wee, I'm going to win your championship. And so when we won, he said, where's Pee Wee? Where's Pee Wee? I said, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? And so he gets on national TV. You know, from Corey Williams to Ed Neal, all the guys that were going to end the reserve. This is a great Michael Jordan. I mean, he didn't have to mention me. You dream about having an opportunity to play with him at some point or to play against him. He would always make the new guys play him one-on-one -on -one after practice. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of like a hazing. And uh, Coach Williams <sighs> was like, you know, I'm young. I'm like 22, 23. I'm thinking, like, I can guard this dude. Yeah. And he said he said they checked up and he blinked and Mike was gone. He couldn't – and he was at the rim, like, hanging from the hanging from the rim. Yeah. And just – I didn't even let him score. And he just got so mad. Or he walked out and Mike goes, hey, Pee Wee. And he turned around and he goes, don't get mad. I do this to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a flex, man. Man, I know. Dang, bro. That's cool. Michael was interested because, you know, we played in college. And so I used to, like, sometimes before the game, before the night before, we, you know, go eat or go to his hotel room. And he, and he was really mad at Reggie Theus. What happened is I, when I was in Chicago, I thought I was going to live there forever. But then when I got traded, I was, a play, I, had a man, I was like a man without a city to live in. Because when he got traded, when, when Reggie got traded, Michael was the draft pick coming in. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. I missed playing with Michael Jordan by 15 minutes, by the way. How about that one? That's crazy, oh, all right, right? Tell that story. Uh, I really never thought that I would leave Chicago, but your trade deadline is in February. And at February at a certain time. And obviously I was going through you know, problems with Kevin Lockery at that time, and they wanted to trade me. But it would serve uh, the organization right for them to wait to the last minute and no one say, you know, we're going to give you his value and the deadline pass him up, and I end up staying for the rest of the year and being a pain in the ass for him mm -hmm. because I will not be quiet. And Reggie was like, there's no guy who can replace me that's a rookie. Fifteen minutes before the deadline where they couldn't have traded me, and they drafted Michael Jordan the next next year in that draft. So he said, just tell Reggie that I'm going to get 45 tonight. So I went to the locker room. I said, Reggie, <laughs> <laughs> Michael said he's going to get 45 tonight. Live from Arco Arena in Sacramento, KOBR Sports presents exciting NBA action as the Sacramento Kings host the Chicago Bulls. It's 6'6 six, six from North Carolina, Michael Jordan. It's 6-3 from North Carolina, Kenny Smith. And at the other guard, right number 24 at 6-7 from Nevada, Las Vegas, Reggie Theus. Reggie Theus against Michael Jordan. And there's Michael J., the man that many have come to see here in Sacramento tonight. Jordan, the drive, gets Theus in the air and scores off the glass. Jordan, drive off the glass. Reggie and two by Harold Preston, who just haven't fallen for him. Bulls back on the break and Jordan the lay in, but the Kings charge right back down court. He is the drive, looking for the foul and didn't get it. Tempo's picking up. No look pass to Sellers from Jordan. How about that play? Thompson shot blocked from behind by Jordan. And that's another category he leads the Bulls in as he goes back the other way to score it. 
Jordan, pull up jumper, got it. Remaining in the third, here's Theus. Had it knocked away, Jordan to steal. Tongue hanging out everywhere. Jordan to the hook and jam it. And yeah, that gets a cheer from the crowd at Arco. You wanted to see a jam? Well, here's one Michael Jordan style. Two shot. Theus on the dribble, off to the right, takes it in, and Jordan steals the ball. Here's Michael Jordan on the drive. In on Joe Klein, all the way to the hoop, scoop shot. Oh! Jordan. Back in those days, we had the Jordan rules, and I was I was back on defense. Michael was coming at me, and about the top of the key, his tongue came out. Way Jordan to steal, tongue hanging out everywhere. And I could see it in his eyes; he was about to dunk on me. Of course, I had fouls to give. He never made it to the rim. He ended up on the floor, which was normal. Michael Jordan made made a big difference because if you didn't guard Michael a certain way, he would embarrass your entire team. So you had, to, you had to guard Michael differently. So he ended up with 43. And so he comes into the locker room. He said, I didn't get 45, but you got to come to Chicago. <laughs> He's like, now that's, that's Supreme College. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's Wait, Supreme College. So you are... He was mad that he didn't get 45. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These were two times that Michael Jordan got his revenge, and I thought they were pretty good stories. If you did enjoy them, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you are up to date when a new video releases. Here are two new Michael Jordan videos I think you will also enjoy, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care.